Now to the federal lawsuit against JCPS. Today, five parents of black students argued cutting transit for most magnet and traditional schools is a violation of civil rights. The parents say they want last year's transit plan reinstated with just six days until school starts. JCPS says a change in plans right now could mean a huge delay in the start of the school year. Travis Brees and photojournalist Jessica Farley give us the main arguments presented in court today. The parents suing JCPS said in federal court Friday that their minority students are disproportionately affected by these transit cuts. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio took the stand as well and said that students in poverty might be disproportionately affected, but he was careful to not say anything race related. For the first time in several years, we are right at the number of bus drivers and routes. Jefferson County Public Schools is defending what it calls a fixed transportation plan. Its solution to stop the millions of missed instructional minutes from last school year was to cut transit for 12 to 14,000 students who chose to attend magnet and traditional schools, freeing up many more bus drivers. We looked at every possible solution um, and, you know, this was not a decision we wanted to make. There is no doubt about it. It was a difficult decision. According to the district, 6,000 of those students are black. And Friday, five of their parents argued it is a disproportionate burden on them. Mary Bledsaw lives in Valley Station and has a son going to Manual. The only way for him to get to school next week is to take a TARC bus. For our young men, for our family, we're not, you know, that's, that's a bit of a concern for us right now. JCPS says race was not involved in the making of the transit plan and students of all backgrounds are affected. They also said switching back to last year's routes at this time could delay the start of school until October or November. You think your clients and the rest of the school district would be happier if last year's transit plan was reinstated? Well, it's got to be an oh, answer yes for the African-American students so they won't be denied the opportunity for a better educational outcome. Attorney Teddy Gordon thinks JCPS is exaggerating and said they can switch it back, quote, at the push of a button. Transportation is still in place for magnet and traditional schools with over 75% free and reduced lunched students. JCPS is also planning to bring back as many of the 12 to 14,000 students who lost transit with the addition of 70 TARC drivers. These schools that we have asked for which are Mayo, Manuel, and Whitney Young, will be reinstated with the TARC drivers. In Louisville, with photojournalist Jessica Farley, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side. The judge is considering a motion to dismiss the case, a motion on this temporary restraining order, and then the actual case itself. We aren't expecting any decisions for at least two weeks.